person for the day. All right. Let's start with what's your names? John. Justin. Jocelyn. John. <laughs> and what brings you out to the D.C., uh, the Bernie Sanders rally here in D.C., just a handful of days before the D.C. primary, the very last primary of the election 2016 season? Uh, well, I've been volunteering for Bernie, and uh, I really think we should uh, continue to support his movement. Yeah, um, same here. John and I went out canvassing for Bernie a while ago, um, and we both voted because he's from Virginia, I'm from Maryland, so we voted for him, but um, we just wanted to come see him at the rally. I'm from Virginia as well. I voted for him in the primary, and I've been following him for a while. I've never heard him speak, but he is a really good speaker. I watch him a lot, so I wanted to finally come see it for myself. Yeah, uh, I love the energy that he brings to his speeches, and I just wanted to experience it for myself. Okay, I'm going to ask you all one question. Whether Bernie wins or loses the Democratic presidential nomination, where would you like to see, what's the future of the Bernie movement? I think the future of the Bernie movement is really getting people who are independents and first-time voters involved in the political process. I think there's a lot of political apathy out there um, that people are kind of disgusted with the way things are. I mean, you can see that in Trump and Clinton being the least uh, popular general election candidates actually ever in terms of their overall favorability ratings. So I think it's about continuing to harness that energy of people looking for another option and really getting people involved in the political process and that'll have uh, really good uh, results and benefits in itself. Yeah, I uh, would totally agree with that. Um, one of the reasons why I supported Bernie um, was because he really stressed democracy and that's something that's really important to me, you know. Um, but I think the Bernie movement now is really important to um, so, so Bernie can use the leverage that he has to uh, affect the Democratic platform. So that's where I see the movement going. Well, a lot of people, when they wanted to say something negative about Bernie, they would say that the majority of his supporters or a fair amount of his supporters were young people and not teenagers, but college age students. And I don't think that's a bad thing. A lot of college students actually feel as if there's no one to represent them and then they don't go out to vote, period. And that's not a solution at all. So Bernie has really opened a lot of those kids to actually not only speaking up for themselves but playing their part, doing their civic duty to go vote. And I think that's very, you know, honorable of him because especially as my age, as a college student, a rising college student, I want to know that there's someone who is thinking about me and my demographic when I go to the polls. And you, what's the future of the Bernie movement? I think the future of the Bernie movement and the anti-establishment movement in general is honest and genuine politicians where that are going for anti-establishment candidates. They want more honest people who speak their mind. Um, and people who speak their mind people who care about the, uh, the general population and can form opinions and give ideas to our future. Excellent. Excellent.